Canelo Alvarez will fight David Benavidez and he will fight him this year. This is not a news break. This is just me. After having heard what Terrence, what Canelo Alvarez said about Terrence Crawford and not fighting David Benavidez in the next fight, I'm telling you that next fight does not mean that he won't fight him. He is never going to fight Terrence Crawford, though. But David Benavidez, let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're gonna be in the 168 pound division where we have some of the biggest and best fighters, biggest and best fights that can be made in boxing because you got Canelo Alvarez there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of talk going on around a bunch of people that keep getting it wrong about what Canelo Alvarez will not do, saying that he will not fight David Benavidez because he said that David Benavidez, it was... This is not next on May 4th. Uh, let, before I get into that, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. So Canelo Alvarez gave an interview. And out of the interview, from what I understand, because I do not speak Spanish, so... I've got to hear it from other people and the translations weakness of being uh, not being bilingual. He says that he is not going to be fighting Terrence Crawford and that David Benavidez is not next. No surprise on either one of them for me, because it has been said consistently for a while now that Terrence Crawford would most likely be fighting Jamal Charlo next. And after that, he would fight David Benavidez. Now, David Benavidez's promoter, Samson Leskovich, shout out to Samson Leskovich, is saying not to expect that fight to happen in 2024 because, you know, Canelo Alvarez has no cojones and he will not do that. He's not going to do it. The way that I take that, though, is that Sam Celeskwitch is trying to bait him into doing it. That's all I get from that. Not that he knows that the fight's not going to happen or that Canelo Alvarez won't do it. Right now, I understand why people would believe that Canelo wouldn't do it because Canelo hasn't done it yet. And Canelo has also taken a long time and taken his sweet time to fight the people that many people say they want to see fight. And of course, there's that infamous stretch of fights that took place over there on the zone where it was absolutely a European bum bash with guys like Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders and Yildirim and uh, and Rocky Fielding. Uh, a lot of that, you know, with a sprinkle of Daniel Jacobs here and a sprinkle of Gennady Golovkin there. But then he hits him, hits you with the John Ryder. Right. All of those. However, uh, the conversation for a while has been, and the PBC said that, and, and the person of Leonard Ellery, that the fight between David Benavides and Canelo Alvarez was much bigger than the fight between Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez, which means that the very least they have their eyes on that fight and know the size and the magnitude of that fight. The other, but the main reason why I say that Canelo Alvarez will do it is similar to the reason why I say Terrence Crawford is going to wind up fighting Errol Spence in a rematch. What else are you going to do? And that's kind of hard to say with Terrence Crawford, with, with Canelo Alvarez. Because Canelo Alvarez for years has all kind of options everywhere. Uh, that's really not the case now at 168. And it's really not the case at 175. And 160 is out of the question for him. But even if he did want a 160 guy, that's the guy that he would be fighting first, which is Jamel. J I mean, Jamal. You have Janabek down there. I think you also have Ayers Landy Lara versus Ayers Landy Lara is the um, is the middleweight is idea. Yeah, Ayers Landy Lara is the 160 pound uh, champ for the WBA. So Ayers Landy Lara rematch 
not going to happen. Uh, us, uh, Janabek, I mean, I can't see that happening. Jamal, I think, is going to happen. And so what else do you have? At 168 pounds, what do you have? You don't really have two people left. You have David Benavides and you have David Morrell. David Morrell is not going to pop off before David Benavides does. That's just as dangerous a fight with and with a lot less fanfare behind it because fewer people know who David Morrell is. The 175 pound situation isn't really promising for Canelo because you're going to have you're going to have Dimitri Bivol or or Arthur Baturbiev at undisputed at 175 pounds. And Canelo it doesn't want to go back, said he doesn't. And now, I guess that's an option for him to go try to fight a rematch with D- Dimitri Bivol, um, with Dimitri Bivol if Dimitri Bivol beats Arthur Baturbiev. But if Arthur Baturbiev beats Dimitri Bivol, you might as well just you might as well just forget about Canelo going to 175 to fight that guy because that guy is going to hurt Canelo. That dude is a legit, that dude, I think Arthur Baturbiev is a legit lower level heavyweight. <laughs> like, the, that's the type of fighter Arthur Baturbiev is. And honestly, man, I got still got a hard time believing Dimitri Bivol is going to get, is going to do anything but get beat up by Baturbiev. So where exactly is this, where are all the options for Canelo in this scenario? Jaime Munguia is not, he's not doing Jaime Munguia. I guess you could say, well, maybe he'll fight Jaime Munguia. People have been pitching that for a while. I never understood why they thought that that would be the case. Because if he's fighting Jaime Munguia, he's doing business with Oscar De La Hoya again. And I don't see him doing business with Oscar De La Hoya again. He had to sue Oscar De La Hoya to get away from him. To go back and do more business with him, I mean, I don't see it. Now, Canelo said he wants to fight for another five years. To me, that I think that means that he wants to fight at 168 pounds, and he's going to wind up taking all comers at 168 pounds. Uh, at least that's, I think, what um, his plan is. I don't really know if Canelo's going to be around another five years fighting at the pace that he's fighting at. Another 15 years? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, another 15 fights? I don't think so. Um, Maybe another two, three years? Sure. Um, But at a certain point in time, I think he's going to get overwhelmed, especially if David Morrell stays at that weight class. Now, maybe they're thinking that uh, the 168 pounders will go to 175 pounds because they can't because those are bigger guys and they can't stay there for as long a period of time. That may be what's on their mind, but um, nah, man, I don't see it. So for me, the light, the highest likelihood fights, highest likelihood of Canelo's fights this year are Jamal Charlo and David Benavides. And I don't think that Canelo Alvarez is the flaming coward that a lot of people chalk him up to be. I just think that, you know, he doesn't give you the fights when you want them. But hey, man, eventually the fight will happen. He'll re- he relents on things. He relented on Gennady Golovkin. He clearly, well, I do believe he's going to relent on um, on Jamal Charlo. Only person he said he wasn't going to fight was, David, was Demetrius Andre. And hey, man, I wouldn't be surprised maybe if he gives Demetrius Andre a fight. I would love that. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.